Noticing Suite is middle school focused uh, STEM learning apps and curriculum and they have some principles that guide their development I think are what make them both very engaging for students and very powerful as, as learning tools. First is that they put people in play at the center. Like kids are at the center, they're literally in the task. It's often taking a picture of your friend or setting up a scene or running on the playground or building a model or matching up two pictures of you and a kitty. And so they're very fun, they're very playful. I mean, we take the play part of design make play as seriously as the design and make part. The second is that they encourage divergent solutions. That is, there's no one right answer. We're not seeing if you made it down this path to get to the right answer. There are lots of different interesting answers you can come up with, and the key is to be able to think through what is the problem and how to solve it, rather than, oh, well, here's the right answer. And you kids sort of know if there's an answer and they're trying to get to it, and you kind of know if you're getting to it or not, and it's not, it's not all that engaging or interesting, whereas if you're trying to solve a problem and make something and create a project that you really care about, well, then there's all sorts of creative thinking that goes on, all sorts of what people call 21st century skills, but are really any century skills of you know, creativity, collaboration, communication, and problem solving. That's all um, the good stuff you want to see when kids are, are working these tools. You can show the, move, the movements of your head and your body, and like if you pause it and you play back it slowly, you can click dots to, to show the movements and it's very fun, it's very educational too, it helps you learn about potential energy, kinetic energy, motion and force. I learn a lot of science stuff like speed, um, kinetic energy and all that stuff. They're a suite of work that we've been doing a lot of R&D and iterative testing with educators and kids. It's going to be coming out in 2015 as we roll it out into select classrooms and work with educators, learn and refine and sort of see what really resonates and hopefully start to build a community of educators who not only want to try this out in the classroom but help build the types of things you can do with it. I mean, we have some cool ideas of, and we're sort of inspired by what's around us here, the plains, the Unisphere, being in Queens, but there are lots of interesting things you can do and when you have sort of open-ended tools that promote creativity and open-ended solutions from kids, same with educators. We want to see what educators around the country and around the world start making with these tools. We think that's really the more exciting part than all the R&D we've done over several years.